Hey Sag, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. So here we're getting ready to do a general reading for your sign. All right, this may or may not resonate with all of you watching. Again, this is for the general public, right? So please just take it how it fits for you, okay? We're gonna go through the main energies first, and then we'll go through and clarify, and I'll also pull some advice messages from Spirit at the end, okay? So let's start with you first, Sag. You guys have the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. All right, some of you, you want to talk to this person, okay? Some of you may have children with them as well with the Page of Cups here. Um, but I also feel as though you're kind of reluctant or you just kind of don't really trust this person, to be honest, okay? So it's like you're taking your time with either reaching out or possibly responding to them, okay? Some of you, maybe you want to hear from them, but I also feel like you don't really want to rush into this uh, connection or towards this uh, person, okay? Because you guys are kind of holding back or you're just taking your time here with that um, Knight of Pentacles. Some of you, they may be at a distance from you, different city, state, country, or they just live a ways away here with the Eight of Wands. This does speak about travel, but um, this also represents a lot of communication. So some of you, you do have something to say to them, okay? Um, still, or you may still be in contact with this person. Now, in the recent past, we've got the Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Some sort of heartbreak happened here, okay? Or somebody feeling um, disappointed, or there were a lot of hurt feelings. Could have possibly been a third party situation here for somebody, all right? I don't know if somebody was cheating or just being deceptive or living in some sort of an illusion here, okay? Somebody could have been struggling with addiction as well with that seven of cups there, all right? This is also about confusion, okay? So maybe somebody was really confused about this whole situation or somebody had too many options here, all right? Could have been somebody from your past with the six of cups and X or somebody that you, um, you know, maybe had a very strong connection with, a soulmate bond here. But I also feel like somebody just started to hold back, okay? That's what the four of pentacles is, somebody holding back or having some sort of guard up here or defense mechanism when it comes to this uh situation and it seems like somebody still didn't want to let go though it was hard to let go of this even though it was very painful or somebody felt like um you know the other person had too many options it was a lot of confusion around this yet somebody was still holding on okay now your person they got the full card the page of cups and the three of swords some of you could be dealing with an aries all right they've got the page of cups in the same position that you did so yeah some of you definitely have kids with this person or this is someone you've known for a long time this could also be somebody being emotionally immature, okay? Maybe kind of petty or childish. Um, this is also about an apology as well. Some of you, maybe they're sorry about something, okay? Because they also have a three of swords here, which I just spoke about what this is. And, you know, of course it means pain or disappointment, hurt feelings, rejection, and just, you know, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't feel good, basically, all right? Now, this person, you guys, I feel like they want a second chance here with you or to start over, but this is someone who can also be very aloof or detached as well, maybe all about themselves or self-absorbed with that full card, okay? So let's go through and clarify your energy, all right? Um, Sag, Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Sorry, for um, Sagittarius here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands for Sag. Yeah, some of you definitely don't trust them. Even though you love them, you just don't trust them with your heart anymore. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so we've got the High Priestess. Page of Cups again, wow. Okay, so, and the Ten of Cups. All right, so the Page of Cups came out twice, clarifying each other, all right? Whenever um, that happens in tarot, there's a strong emphasis on this energy here, okay? Because it came out twice. Um, yeah, so some of you, yeah, like I said, you still got love for them, but you may have pulled back here with the High Priestess or... Um, maybe somebody got ghosted. Maybe just stop talking to them, okay? Or there could be secrets involved here, guys. I don't know if it's you or them keeping them, okay, if that's even the case. But um, somebody, I feel like somebody's ready to open up and talk now, okay, if there's been a uh, separation here. Some of you, this has to do with family as well or marriage, okay, with the um, Ten of Cups or siblings or extended family for a few of you, all right? 
But yeah, some of you might be married to them or you guys are married to other people. Could be a third party situation here. I feel like you guys still have got, you know, feelings for them. All right. So let's go through and clarify their energy again. Spirit, please clarify the Fool, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Swords for Sagittarius person. Clarify the Fool, Page of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Clarify the full and the cups and the three of swords. All right, one more. All right, so we got the death card. Could be done with Scorpio. Three of Pentacles and the Tower. Yeah, this person is really going through something. Okay, guys, with the death card being here, this can speak about an ending. All right, or some sort of change or transformation they're going through. Okay, they've got to end something. I don't know if it's this relationship or something else they're doing in their life. Could be an addiction, could be something else toxic that's happening. Otherwise, this wouldn't be here. Okay, so yeah, something's got to stop or change or transform. Some of you, this person, they're trying to focus on work and finances as well. Okay. Um, or this could be that they may want to come back together with you, okay, with the Three of Pentacles. This is about partnership and, you know, people getting along, being on the same page, um, maybe for the kids, okay, some of you if you have children with them. And, you know, it's also about cooperation, but with this tower, I'm picking up a little bitterness from this person, okay, or something unexpected happened here. Maybe a unexpected ending, especially if you were the one that walked away or you're just not opening up to them like you did before is causing some sort of um, discomfort here for them, okay? So let's go through and clarify your energy again. All right, Sag, Spirit, please clarify the, oops. Please clarify the uh, High Priestess, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups here for Sagittarius. Clarify the High Priestess, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Cups for Sag. All right, one more. Okay, so got the Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Sun card. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, all right? I feel like you guys still care about them, like I said a few minutes ago, okay? But I don't really see you trying to open up a whole lot, you know, as far as your feelings towards this person, okay? You could be considering reaching out or responding if they're the ones that's, you know, been trying to get a hold of you, all right? Um, some of you, maybe there isn't even a separation. You guys are still dealing with each other, but somebody's juggling here, okay? Either two people or this could be finances or a decision, all right, guys? But ultimately, you just want to be happy, okay? Either with this person or maybe without them. I don't know. All right. Now, let's go through and clarify their energy one more time. Then we'll pull your advice messages, okay? Spirit, please clarify the uh, death card, the three of pentacles, and the tower. Some of you, this person did something wrong. They played you or they did something they shouldn't have done. And now they're sorry is what I feel, okay? Maybe they brought this tower on themselves. I don't know. All right. Clarify the death card, the three of pentacles, and the tower for Sag's person. All right, one more. Clarify the death card, the three of pentacles, and the tower. All right, so we've got the two of wands, seven of wands, and the page of pentacles. Yeah, they still got something to say, okay? But some of you, this person, they were breadcrumbing you. They didn't have much to offer or they refused to in the past, okay? Um, they could be living a double life as well with that two of wands or they're kind of in two minds here. They just, they don't know, okay? This person is a hot mess is what I feel here. All right, guys, they're kind of all, they're, it's like they're all over the place, okay? Um, because it's like they want to fight for this connection, yet they're very defensive and guarded and they just don't open up or they're stuck in their ways here, okay? And they're moving kind of slowly as well with that page of um, pentacles, okay? So let's go through and pull some advice messages. These may have to do with this uh, situation or it could be about something else in your life, all right? Sag, just take it how it resonates, okay? Spirit, show me three messages that you want to say to Sagittarius. Three messages that you have for Sag. Yeah, some of you, this person's really petty or they're childish here with those two pages coming out, all right? Okay, show me one more. What two, um, sorry, three messages do you have, Sag? <clears throat> all right, so we have surrender defensiveness. 
and it says defensiveness is a sign of weakness to communicate in a more empowered way stay centered and hear someone out then offer a clear non-defensive response well to me with that card whenever i see that um it's kind of like a catch-22 okay because I mean, you don't want to be too defensive to where you just assume things or you constantly feel like you're on guard or being attacked whenever someone says something to you. But you also don't want to be weak either. OK, and letting people think they can just do whatever they want to do. So, yeah, you need to defend yourself at times. OK, and stand up for yourself or whatever you believe is right for you. OK, so you really just got to take that um, depending on your circumstance okay, or your situation. We've also got to surrender your belief in scarcity. And it says the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, guys, um, we've also got surrender negative thinking. And it says you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. Okay, so that's what came out, Sag. If this um, resonated, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Okay, and be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content. Okay, wish you guys the best. Take care.